We've actually got Dean here from Panasonic. Hey it's like hey, we Dean, saved the you? best for last. I was hoping you did, yeah. I'm excited <laughs> to be here. I'm how just going to start playing with stuff. Go for it. So, uh, welcome. You guys have a whole line of goodies here to show us. Everything from pocket size stuff all up to full-size kind of DSLR thingies, right? Exactly. So tell us about the Panasonic lineup. Sure. So, you know, we've got a very broad lineup from very basic point shoot up to now professional grade uh, digital single lens mirrorless cameras in the Micro Four Third system. I brought just a couple cameras today to, to show you guys that we're pretty excited about newer releases. Uh, the first is called our LX7. It's a very compact form factor camera. The exciting thing about it is it's a 1.4 fixed aperture lens. So wow. it's amazingly bright and fast. It's, it's got a lot of great features. Uh, a lot of our, you know, people that are using pros, is, this is their carry around pocket camera. Uh, what, what is that a is that a fixed length lens too? Is no, it a it's prime a, it's, or it's a, a, about it's a 4x zoom? About on, a 4x, okay. Yeah, so it's but a uh, 1.4 cross the whole fixed range. aperture. Yes, sir. Now you guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but. Hadn't there been some stuff going on between like Panasonic and Leica over yeah, the years? Yeah, so we've got and kind of a long-term uh, kind of development and manufacturing relationship with Leica. So a lot of our uh, products are uh, have gone kind of through a Leica certification or validation. So this does have a Leica branding on the actual lens. So it's it's been kind of through their rigors and and they've signed off on it. And there are a lot of conspiracy theorists who claim that I could buy this Panasonic camera, one of these Panasonics, and yeah. essentially I've got a Leica. That's but an interesting a lot theory. Less. Or the <laughs> other way around, <laughs> yeah. where but Leica charges you another yeah. $300 right. for the same thing. Okay, so, so okay. Tell me a little bit more about that one. Like, what kind of sensor do we have and so all that good stuff? It's a 16 megapixel sensor. It's uh, got a lot of, you know, uh, manual modes, right? So if you want to shoot full manual, you can. It's got all the program and aperture. Or you can go creative auto. So for the people that are less uh, comfortable taking it out of automatic, uh, I'm sorry, uh, shooting manual, you can go automatic with it. It shoots 1080p video. Uh, one of the neater things, there's, uh, I believe it's 16 creative controls in it for different shooting scenes. One of my favorite is One Point Color. Uh, I think a lot of people are familiar. You find a rose that's red, you, you highlight that color, and everything else goes black and white in the frame. Um, so we, we had actually a National Geographic photographer, uh, Bruce Dale, in our booth uh, over the course of the last couple days showing images taken on this all over the world, amazing quality. Uh, one of the things he likes about it um, is actually the depth of field on it. He, you know, because the lens is so bright, he can get very much detail throughout the, the frame uh, with that camera. So he, 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 he was really excited about it when he had a chance to use it. Sweet. And what's the retail going for on this? Uh, there's actually a show special at three ninety nine. I believe uh, MSRP on it's five ninety nine. Okay, so somewhere in the street price range of four to you know four hundred hit the show, maybe five hundred online. Somewhere in the four to five hundred range. Yeah, should... we can get a pocket size sixteen megapixel camera with a one point four fixed aperture. Yes, sir. That's ridiculous. It's pretty cool. Okay, what else? Next. A lot of what we're going to talk about is around lens technology. Um, we're kind of going to move into the super zoom category. This is our FZ200. It's a 2.8 out to 600 millimeters. So think about that. Is it a 600 2.8? Yes. Wait, you're telling me this one's a fixed 2.8 to 600 millimeters? Yes. Sorry, okay. Dave. I'm that's taking ridiculous. it away to try to figure if that's true. Keep going. 600 2.8? Yes, sir. Okay, what kind of uh, sensor do we have in this one? Uh, also, six. Uh, this it, actually, I think, is a essentially the same as the other one, but just we same, have a bigger, yeah. we have better, uh, not better, but we have a bigger lens with more range. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. But with essentially the same uh, sensor. Yeah, a lot of the same technologies, a lot of the same creative controls. You know, obviously, bigger form factor, so it's it's a great all-in-one travel camera. You know, it goes wide enough to, to be effective there, but it's really about the zoom and the, the 2.8 lens. Yeah, the guy's staring me down because I am shooting it all the way out at um, what 600 at 2.8. 2.8. And it's stable, which tends to be some of the issues that you run into with super zooms. This has optical stabilization. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, the other thing, if you think about a full frame, uh, 600 millimeter lens, the best you're going to do is 4.0 aperture. Yeah. And, and the rig is going to be, I don't know, two feet long and yeah. weigh about 10 times as much as this. So That's for, pretty amazing. Okay. That's I why it says 2.8 right on the side. They really want you to believe it's it. It's creative show, marketing. Show them. Show them. Right here. I have to ask on behalf of Jared, can you shoot raw with it? Yeah, you can shoot raw on JPEG. What is the uh, raw format? 
Uh, now you're getting into engineering questions that are a little yeah, That's over not my very head. engineering question. I'm a marketing. I'm a dumb marketing guy. Yeah, but it's a Panasonic it, Raw format, yeah, I guess. It, most, or is it a DNG? Because yeah. Leica uses DNG. Oh. I'll find it. You guys you can find keep going. It. Okay, we'll, you find it's good it. good thing he knows what he's doing. <laughs> exactly. I'll that's, figure this out. We keep him around. He's, yeah. a, he's occasionally useful. Yeah. So... All right, you find that. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, now, this a is DSLR. a big one. What so is this? So it's a DSLM. Then I, then I'm going to ask the hard-hitting question. A DSLM. Oh. Right, so it's mirrorless. Okay, so, all right, go ahead. Micro Four Thirds based system. So all of Panasonic's uh, interchangeable lens cameras are mirrorless Micro Four Thirds. So okay. It's, okay, so it's part of that standard. This is really our, what I'd argue is our first professional camera, okay? So this is our GH3. It was announced at Photokina. It's going to start shipping right around Thanksgiving time. Uh, all, a brand new 16 megapixel sensor. It's quad core. It's a new Venus engine upgrade. Um, we're, this is a, the successor to the GH2, which I think a lot of people know as one of the best video SLRs ever created. And this is that much better. So we're up to uh, 75 megabits per second. Uh, wow. Yeah. Did, what size sensor did we say? The 16. 16 megapixel. It's a micro four thirds. Oh, it's micro four thirds. Yeah. yeah. So this uh, this has a couple 75 of 75 our... megabits per second. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm still looking for this. <laughs> so this uh, this actually has a couple new accessories on it. It's got our battery grip. So for someone that wants a little more uh, shooting life on it, or just likes the idea of the vertical controls. Right. You've got multiple wheels, ISO settings, all that here. Uh, it's also got our new uh, 360L uh, LED flash with a video light on it. Okay. Okay. And that's useful. One of the other really exciting things uh, is the 35 one to 100 2.8 lens. Now fixed. Fixed 2.8. This complements the 12 to 35 that we introduced a few months back. Uh, the cool thing about it, um, well, actually, the thing you need to be aware, if your viewers don't know, is that with a micro four thirds, you multiply by yep. two to get the equivalent full frame. So this is the equivalent. It's called the crop factor. The crop factor, right? Of a, a 70 to 200 fixed 2.8 lens. It just says raw. It so just says raw. Yeah. We'll look it up. We're going to throw it in the computer and, and right. figure it out. Okay, I'll see. Did you take a picture? I did. I took one, the last picture I took. Okay, I'll tell you, so I'll tell you what it is. The hard-hitting stuff. You're okay. jumping into a market that is saturated. Yes. It's a, what is going to set you apart from everybody else? Um, we, we're doing great stuff with low light. Uh, I think that's unique. But by far, this is going to be for the kind of hybrid multimedia photographer looking to step into video. Wow, look at that. It's got a um, horizon built right into the digital viewfinder. Yeah, so these are OLED on both the uh, live and, and the, the back screen. Yeah, I see it's that. It's articulating. And the, one turn, the back screen turns off when I put my face up to this. So you can watch, you can see the back screen, your face comes up, shuts that off, and it goes right into the viewfinder, which was clear, bright, and gave you a lot of information in there that wasn't in the way. Right. So that is definitely a cool thing that I'd, I'd like to see moved more along the line of a uh, in the digital SLRs on the other guy's right. side, but it's pretty uh, it's pretty smooth. Yeah, the other cool thing about it is with the mirrorless technology combined with our touch screen, you can change your focus points, including during video, by touching the screen. Really, this is a touch screen as well. Yes, it is a touch screen as well. I still would never recommend shooting a picture like this. I ever. I, if you're on a tripod or there's some unique situations, maybe I, I tip Very up unique to my situations. I, I, like the, I like the ability to touch the screen to focus. But well, it, that's it, fine, but I'm saying live view. Like, this is not a way to shoot a picture. No, but what you <laughs> can't oh, not stable. to shoot a photo, you have but the to option. shoot video, it is. You, well, well, you have to do that yeah. for video. If By you're, the way, uh, I like the articulating screen. On, yeah. I like the articulating If you can uh, multitask, screens. you can look through the viewfinder and change focus on the touchpad. I don't even, know it, even though it goes off? Yeah, it's one of the settings we'd have to enable, but that's one of the options. So if you want to shoot you know, up to your eye like you really should and change the focus point, you can do that on the touchpad. Uh, you're, then you're not zooming and holding the camera stable. And I know, I'm just being that guy. That's okay. okay that's so, what you're paid for, yeah. aren't you? That's right. That's why they pay me the big bucks, that's right. to be that guy. All right. So the uh, the format on but, that particular yeah. RAW is an RW2. I'm not I'm not familiar with it. I don't know what an RW2 is. I, I'm assuming it's a Panasonic RAW format. But at so, least it's a RAW format. Yeah, it this does raw. feel good in the hands, though. Hey, will the little one shoot RAW? Uh, I believe I believe it will. Uh, and if I can't tell you for sure, I'm sure okay. we'll find it. Yep. We'll, it took me a while to find it, it but I did find it. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm fascinated with is, and I, I, w I wish that all of the manufacturers could say this, is that you've got a whole line from pocket size up to you know full size effectively that all have fixed aperture lenses, all have fixed aperture zoom lenses, 
the, some of which are ridiculous zoom lenses. Right. I mean, 600 millimeter, 25 to 600 on that midsize one is ridiculous. Um, so that's fantastic. That's yeah, we're really, really excited about it. Really <laughs> nice. And the price points are excellent. We talked about that one, but we didn't talk about these two, I don't think. What's uh, the MSRP on this is $599. $599, and this one is the uh, DMC F FZ200. Right. Five ninety nine. Okay, and the GH three that he has, the body only is twelve ninety nine. Uh, the twelve to thirty five lens is twelve ninety nine, and the thirty five to one hundred is fourteen ninety nine. Okay, so around let's call it about three thousand dollars, you could get that thing fixed up with the whole shoot and match yeah. uh, on a nice ver uh, lens. How much is the battery grip extension? Uh, battery grip will set final price probably around one ninety nine. Probably right. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you're looking at around three grand for that thing, the way it's sitting without the flash, maybe. With the second lens. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Excellent. All right. Well, any other questions? I don't see any questions in the... Uh, I'm not seeing any other questions in the chat room at the moment. It's going to be interesting. If I'm missing... I mean, it's all, a, it's I'm sorry, a, guys. It's an interesting line. This, this is pretty fascinating. Yeah. The 2.8 all the way through. I, expensive. Feels good. Has a lot of functions on this. I love the viewfinder. Right. I don't. For for me personally, out there shooting a you know the pro end DSLRs, not sure I would pick it up for that price. But it has it has a lot of options. Yeah. I mean, maybe when you see some of the photos, see some of the reviews, you'll change your mind. But uh, I'll I, do I, one of the reviews if it gets sent to me. We could talk about that. Um, you know, the other thing to keep in mind, you know, comparing it to a full size. Oh, I, I know that. Yeah. The, I, I, that's why I said for me using yeah. a pro end camera. Like I said, the viewfinder, pretty pretty cool. Yeah. I like that function. I'd like to see that on the other ends. Um, this is a 2.8 lens. It's smooth. It seems to work well. Um, I'm not I'm not knocking it. Yeah, that's I'm just cool. I'm just going basic sheer sheerly on price right there to start. Okay, one, that's fair. One last question: um, Do we have built-in Wi-Fi on anything? Yes. Uh, oh so yes, we do. Yeah, on the uh, of what we have here, there's only one model. We have another model in point shoot category that has Wi-Fi, but the GH3 will have Wi-Fi with an Android uh, and i iOS app. Okay. Uh, so you can do remote shooting, uh, live transfer, things like that. That's cool. And that's built in. That's gonna be built in, or is yep. it an add-on? There's a kind little Wi-Fi. Oh, it says uh, Wi-Fi on it. Right there, you go. One of the functions I think is programmed to turn Wi-Fi on. That goes blue, and you sync it up with the app, and you're good to go. Oh, that's awesome. Mm. Yeah. There it is. It's cool. Blue. All right. Sexy okay. blue lights. I like sexy blue lights. We like it. All right, Dean. I don't have any other. I think we're. I think we, you covered everything. Okay. We, so thank we pressed, you very we much. We pressed him pretty tough here. Yeah, you were you were not easy on him, but he no, he made it through. All right, and, uh, but that's just the way it is. I, I would need to use this thing. I know it has a lot of functions, and and that viewfinder definitely interests me. Yep. Well, the whole definitely thing does. sounds good to me. So, all right. Cool. Thanks very thanks, much guys, for bringing him on the me. show. Thank you for good sticking you. through that. All right. Nice meeting you too. So we thanks. will see you later. All right, guys. Thank you.